Okay, here begins a unit R review of inductance, and so uh, this should be fairly quick. Okay, so we have an 8 volt battery, a 4 ohm resistor, and um, a 2 Henry inductor. Uh, you know, these all these quantities are making big, so and like a 2 Henry um, inductors is a huge inductance, but um, just to make the numbers work out so they don't get in our way. Okay, so um, I would like you to first tell me um, what these graphs are going to look like when I close this switch. The instant I close this switch, um, could you could you show me what the graph is going to look like out to a time you know pretty far out there for the I for the induct the, through the resistor? How about the voltage across the resistor and the EMF by the inductor? So go ahead and pause. And see if you can if you can sketch these three graphs: the I through the resistor, the voltage across the resistor, and the um, EMF um, across the inductor. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, bye. <coughs> okay, um, what's going to happen is when you close this switch, this is going to push this way, and um, it's going to try and stop the current from changing. And so um, it will be successful only at t equals zero. And then after that, the, the current will build, 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 build. And there'll be a point where it approaches. I, might, I didn't ask you to put these asymptotes, but do you know what this asymptote is going to be? What is it approaching? Well, in the end, this is just going to be like a long wire. So inductors behave like long wires in the end. Once, once the current stops changing in them, they just are like old, they're not old, like long wires. And so um, that would be 8 volts. To, then there has to be 8 volts across here. Because there's no, at, you see that the slope way out here is 0. And the EMF is um, negative L di dt. So if the slope is 0 out there, that means di dt is 0. And so this is 0. There's no more... There's no more voltage across here, so that means there's 8 volts across here. So 8 volts divided by 4 ohms is um, 2 amps. Okay, um, The voltage across the resistor then <clears throat> is building up to 8 volts. It matches the current in the resistor. I times R. The EMF, on the other hand, it starts out with a valiant effort, but it dies out. And you know what it starts out with? with what type of voltage it starts out with, um, it would be 8 volts. See, because if this is 0, if there's no current in here at t equals 0, if there's no current, there's no voltage. And Luke, Kirchhoff's loop rule says we got to lose the voltage somewhere, and we lose it across the, the, the um, <clears throat> inductor. Okay, so that's problem 1. Okay, problem 2. Okay, um, I have a 12-volt battery, a switch. Here's a... Um, resistor that's 2 ohms, another another resistor that's 4 ohms, another uh, in parallel with a 4 ohm resistor, but this this branch right here has an inductor, and let's make that 2 Henry's. Okay, when the switch is closed, the instant the switch is closed, can you tell me what the current will be, um, let's say in the battery, the current in the battery, the instant the switch is closed, and then what will be the current through the battery um, a long time later. So go ahead and let's just do those first. What will be the current in the battery at t equals zero and at um, what will be the current in the battery at infinity? Okay, see you in a bit. <coughs> okay, um, to answer this question, you need to understand that at the beginning, when you close this switch, this had no current in it, so it's going to act like that to um, push the current the other way. By the way, um, I should probably tell you that with this one, if you're wondering why this wasn't negative, it is negative. It actually goes, it's like that um, for this last one. And that's because it's a negative L di dt. So if th that's a positive, the I is growing. So the EMF is actually a negative 8 volts. But if I just do magnitude, then it's 8 volts. <clears throat> okay. So back to this problem. Um, okay, it's good to remember then that the current in here, uh, well, this is going to behave just like a battery at first. And it's actually going to um, not let current down here. 
So the current is going to grow in here. It's going to be a growing graph. So, but <clears throat> what's going to happen though is it will go this way. So it's almost like there's there's this break in the circuit here, and you just have this. So you have you have two ohms and six ohms that are in series because this one is taken out at t equals zero, and so that's six ohms. So six ohms. You have a total of six ohms and twelve volts. So that's going to be two amps. Okay, a long time later, this is going to behave just like a wire. At, at some point, the current is hardly changing. This is not fighting. This is okay with it. <clears throat> and so this is just like a wire. So now we have um, two 4-ohm resistors that are in parallel. Well, when you have two 4-ohm resistors that are in parallel, then that's like a 2-ohm resistor uh, that's, in, that's in series with another 2-ohm resistor. So the total resistance of the circuit at infinity... Total resistance is 4 ohms, and so we have 3 amps. Okay. Now, um, a little later on, after we let that 3 amps get, once it gets up to 3 amps, <coughs> or at least very, 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 very close, we're going to open this switch. And um, what I'd like you to tell me is the instant that it's open, at the instant it's open, can you tell me what the current in the inductor will be? what the EMF in the inductor will be, and how fast the current will be changing with time. Okay, so tell me the current in the inductor, once I open that switch, um, the EMF in the inductor, and how fast the current in the inductor will be changing with time. Go ahead and close the switch, or uh, go ahead and pause the video and guess. Okay, so when you open this, um, it should just stop the current. But remember, there's three amps in here. And so it's not going to um, want that 3 amps to change. So it's, there's going to be 3 amps. It's gonna, this is what the graph is going to look like for this. It's going to die out. But it's going to start out at 3 amps and then die out. So at t equals 0, this is going to be 3 amps. Okay. Now, um, the way you get this then, this is actually going to act like a battery pushing um, this way now. It will be pushing this way. It'll be pushing down and around like that. And the way you can find the EMF of the battery is this Kirchhoff's loop rule, because you're going to get this current going around. It can't go this way, because that switch is open. So if you put 3 amps through 4 ohms, that's 12 volts. This will be 12 volts, and then another 12 volts. So that means that that's 24 volts. The EMF will be 24 volts. <clears throat> okay, um... Just because of Kirchhoff's loop rule. If you put voltmeters across there at T equals zero, it would be um, 12 volts and 12 volts, 3 amps times 4 ohms. Okay, now to get di dt, how fast it's changing, that's the slope at T equals zero. So there, what I'm really asking is what is the slope at T equals zero? Well, um, I'm going to say, I'm going to use this equation, E equals negative L di dt. And so um, it, E is 24 volts. That's equal to ne negative L, L is 2 Henry's, times di dt. So when I solve for di dt, lo and behold, I get um, 12, but it's a negative 12. And the units on that are negative 12 volts over Henry's. Now, a volt over Henry, that's got to turn into amps per second. You might see if you can get a volt over a Henry to turn into amps per second. Okay, so, um, but it's a negative because see how the slope is sloping downward? That's a negative slope. Okay, well, I think we're going to need one more video. It'll be a short one, I'm thinking. Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll also show you how um, when you take volts over Henry's, you get amps per second. Okay, see you in the next video.